<laughs> Get her, Teague. <laughs> Uh, I remember that camping trip and Tegan saying her back hurt and just thinking like that's that's not right. No kid that age I've ever heard of, you know, is complaining about their back being hurt so much. So we went to the local emergency room and uh, waited six hours and they said she was dehydrated. And I said, no, she's not. We went back the following week and he said that her enzyme levels were elevated. They realized that her liver and her spleen were enlarged at that time, so just more monitoring. Then we were uh, referred to the Children's Hospital and then the elevation of the enzymes kept getting higher. So uh, she went for the liver biopsy and then they did a blood gas test. Then they did genetic testing on top of that and that's when they came back with the lysosomal acid lipase deficiency. So she's missing an enzyme which breaks down the fat in her body, which can lead to build up a fat in all of her organs. Dr. Shook told me that I had LLD, and it was very emotional because I was like eight years old, and we didn't know that was gonna happen to me. I was so young that I didn't even really know what a disease was. I feel like I was too young to understand how bad it was, I guess. Um, but like, I did know that it wasn't a good thing that was happening. Yeah, I remember having to tell Tegan and how serious it was going to be and how our lives right that second changed. And the doctor was very nice and brought me in there. I said, how long is she going to live? Like, worst case, and he said, she'll probably make it to 20. When I found out it was super serious, I didn't, I really didn't know how to, um, to take it in and I didn't know how to feel at first. It was devastating. I remember just bawling my eyes out for a long time. You know, there's something wrong with your child that you can't fix. When I first realized I had a disease when we were talking about it, I got really scared because I didn't know what it was. And I was just like, didn't know what was going to happen when I was older. We told her that we'd do everything we could in order to save her. At that time, they said we could monitor. Um, we went on a low-fat diet with her to help slow down the progression of the disease. But there was nothing at that time that was helping. They said that the statins wouldn't even make a difference either, so the low-fat diet was kind of our only option at that time. That was like the biggest thing that we could do was just cut out fats in her diet because we weren't going to let Tegan do it on her own. We had to be there with her. We trusted the hospital and the doctors to do everything they could, and we knew that we would do whatever we could, and we were able to get the drug for Tegan, and it's just been amazing. Life is, I guess, normal for us. You know, we don't really think anything of it when people say, you know, we've been through so much. We don't really see it that way. We see it as a success because Tegan's healthy and she's thriving and she's amazing. Oh, I think we're super close now. Before we were a close family, but you know, that just, that brings it together. It's been so amazing at the hospital and there's such an amazing support system and they've done so much for us that we look forward to going on Mondays. You know, Tegan has all her friends there and they play games and do crafts and the nurses are like family and the doctors are amazing and we just we just go and it's just part of our everyday. All the nurses and doctors help me a lot. Like if I'm feeling uncomfortable, like they try to help me so then I won't think about it and then I'll feel better. Seeing other kids in that hospital and Tegan herself is just amazing what they do for these children. Every time I go in there, these kids have huge smiles on their faces. They're happy to be there. And that, that makes me feel good that that's in our hometown. I think she's really grown from it. She's really learned from it. She's very sympathetic to other kids there, and she knows that she's not alone going there. You know, they've made her feel very welcome, and it's, it's been amazing. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't for so many people that helped us along the way, and I'm thankful for all them, and I'm thankful for God as well. She's, uh, she's doing amazing, so she's, she's going to do amazing things in life. She really wants to be a nurse. She wants to help out kids who've come in there and going through the same thing she's gone through and she's very empathetic to that.